Hi everybody, welcome to Andrew's Answers. I'm your host, Andrew Goss. Thank you so much for coming back again to see me. Today we're gonna to have a little chat about marketing. Now marketing is something that we're all familiar with because it surrounds us every waking moment of every day. It's in our social media news feeds, it's on our favorite websites, billboards, radio, TV, it's everywhere. And marketing in and of itself is not a bad thing. In fact, it's quite important. I mean, if you're in business, you need to let the public know that you're in business, open for business, and that you're interested in their business. But once your attention's been captured, now the due diligence falls on you as the consumer to make sure that it is the service provider that you want to hire or it's the goods that you want to purchase. Let me explain a little bit. If you're going out to buy a vehicle, there's a very good chance that you're going to shop around more than one place and there's a very good chance that you're going to do some test driving. You're going to look into extra information such as fuel economy, resale value, uh, safety details, all this kind of stuff. A lot of times when we are uh, buying groceries or we're going out to a restaurant, it's become more and more common to look into the nutritional information. Uh, we've learned about things such as trans fats and uh, sodium levels. I mean, all this information is buyer beware. So as a consumer, once somebody or some product has captured your attention and you're in the market for whatever it is they're selling, you get to do your research. Now, a lot of times, uh, specifically if it's products, there's lots of great websites, there's lots of great resources that you can go to and you know, you can, you can look up about certain cell phones or toaster ovens. Uh, you know, you can uh, do some, some research on, like I said, vehicles or, or any kind of, of consumer product. When it comes to the service industry, well, it gets a little bit different. A lot of times people might be looking for a lawyer or a contractor, maybe somebody who's providing a medical service or real estate. One of the most uh, effective means I've ever seen anybody use when you're looking to get information about a service provider is your social media. Now, Facebook is predominant because that's the most connected uh, uh, social media source and it tends to be where people have the largest social networks. Now, that's not always the case and you can use whichever social media medium you wish, but realistically, if you go to Facebook and you type in hey, I'm looking at uh, hiring a lawyer, does anybody have any recommendations? Your friends who have had good experiences with a lawyer are probably gonna come back and give you some recommendations. And then, depending on how big your social network is or how many experiences people have had, sometimes you'll get commonality crossovers and you'll end up with multiple recommendations of the same person or service. Not a bad thing. Once that's done, then you get to take that person that service for a test drive and what I mean is just a brief interview have them come in let them know that they've been referred which is very important and then have them explain why they're a good service provider for you to hire so you do a little bit of legwork a little bit of due diligence it doesn't cost you anything it takes very little time and you'll end up with authentic credible verifiable uh, recommendations for whatever goods or services you might be looking for don't get caught up in the marketing because as we all know, McDonald's sells the most hamburgers, but it doesn't mean that they're the best for you. We also know that every vehicle maker say they have the best vehicle and the best gas mileage. By you doing a little bit of legwork, you'll end up with a much better product and or a much better service than what you would otherwise. I hope this gives you something to talk about and think about as you uh, may be considering hiring somebody in my industry. Do what I've suggested. Get your information, get your recommendations, and I guarantee you'll get better service and you'll have a better experience. Thanks so much. Don't forget all my contact information is below in the description section and feel free to hit subscribe and follow along in my series. And we'll see you again next time.